And I was trying to think of a way to put this part onto here in a way that I can actually take it off and then put it on because obviously when I wear it, I need to be able to somehow put it on or put it together and then take it off. today so I had a dilemma last time I only had two left and I need a bit more to complete my necklace and so my order just arrived so I'm just gonna unbox it and it's only <laughs> it is just um, the dolls that I ordered I didn't order anything else please and here we we have a bit more dolls to add to my collection so hopefully this is definitely going to be enough for the necklace so to start off I'm going to run through all the material that I'm going to use for this necklace um, so obviously, you know, I now have my doll. So these are five millimeter dolls and they sell them in a one meter length each And I'm going to use my wire because I found this to be quite helpful when I did my hat um, Because it actually gave the shape, you know, you see how the hat is slanting so it helped to get the shape I'm also going to use a foam clay. I'll use this foam clay in the front of the necklace I can see there's some jewels and rubies. I don't know what they are um, Maybe it's vibranium. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but there's something that looks like jewels or rubies on the front so I'm gonna use this because this has worked well for me I also have um, measuring tape scissors glue and I'm gonna use this to apply my glue and I have a pen and paper to keep track of um, my measurement so now I am just going to measure my neck um, I know because I've done a neck corset before I don't want something that's gonna come right up the top of my neck I know I won't be able to breathe so I'm just gonna go um, maybe from there to somewhere there um, and then just leave some room for me to be able to move so I think that's the size that I'm going for and it is three it's upside down <laughs> it's three inches so that's the measurements that I'm going by and then I am just going to try and see how much I need around so I kind of know where what how to gauge so it goes a bit like that and obviously this is not the final because the top and the bottom will be different but it's roughly 19 inches so those are my measurements and now we can get into the video so firstly i'll take my wire so this is the same wire that we used last time and i'm going to just measure um 19 inches i'm going to make it a bit longer so i'm just going to measure 19 inches or maybe 20 inches and it's up to there and we're going to shape it and so this side will be three inches cut this somewhere here like that so that my joint is somewhere in the middle okay so this is what we have and it's a rectangle so far and I can see in the in the photo so this is the locket we're going for see how the ends are like in the eyes of people so I want the ends to be these ends, these ends, I want them to have no join. So the, my join will be somewhere there at the back or somewhere on the top at the back. So I'm just going to wind that like that. I'm just going to try this out to see quickly try this out to see so it'll be like the top part it'll be like that and then it will fall like that and then the top part I need to put more on the top because the top is going to go a bit up this is all in theory <laughs> oh my gosh I already I can already see 
the size is fine this is where i want it to finish the bottom is okay too so the bottom i'm happy with it the top i need to because it's going to go a bit up like that yeah <laughs> okay we have a rough draft <laughs> of the wire it's so hard to see in the video so now we're going to take our dolls i need two long ones I'm going to put the rest on the floor so that it's not disturbing. I'm going to take my dolls and I'm going to do the same thing we did last time. I'm going to stick them, the wire into the dolls. And I am also going to avoid starting from the ends as well because I don't want the ends to be to have too many joints. So all I'm doing now is I'm just putting some glue on both of my dolls and then I'll wait for it to become tacky and once it's tacky I'll stick the dolls together and I'll put the wire in between. So I'm gonna start from the bottom and I'm gonna stick the wire onto the middle like that. And I just need to make sure these two don't touch before I actually stick them together. I need to make sure it's in right in the middle. And then I take the other one and I'm going to stick it on top in the middle. And then I'm trying to seal it so it's a perfect seal because I realized with my hat it wasn't as perfect. So now I'm just laying it on. I haven't pressed it in. I'm just laying it on to, onto the other one. And then once I'm happy, I'm going to press it down. Okay, so we can press now. So see how it's much better. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna take my time because last time I think I rushed this part. And it was fine, but I could have done so much better. And then here, this is the corner. I'm just going to turn turn it like that. And I'm just going to stick the wire first. And then this one is going to fall off. Uh, okay. okay. So the corners are important because they're the ones that everyone will see. Oh. I'm just placing it and then once it's placed I can press it and then I'm gonna keep going so here we're gonna turn and then we're gonna go and turn as well so right about here is where my glue actually finishes and then now I'm gonna press the good thing about this is I can actually make the corners um, take more shape because now I have the wire inside and I can see that my doors are going to run out at the corner so I'm, i might just cut them somewhere here in the middle so i can add some new doors from the middle so i'll just put glue on this one and then i'll stick it that's the frame you can see from edge to edge and I like the corners because I can actually do that to them so that they are more and one side is a bit slightly slightly longer than the other so let's have a look let's have a look at our photo so that's the photo that's the necklace that we need to make and so now I need to start doing the designs and I'm just gonna do them as I go, I'm not going to draw. I'm just going to follow the pattern as I go. This might be a disaster, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna fold. This is gonna come like this. 
and then it's going to fold down so that's the top part it goes like that so i'm just going to start with the corner because i can see there's three side things that are going and i'm just going to measure and cut so that's one Two. So one, two, and then the last one is three. So that's the other thing. I need to decide whether I want this side to be the, the main side or the back side, but I think I'll do it this way. That means it's going to face like that. So it's going to be one, two, and three like that my third one is slightly wrong because i want them to be the same i want them to be the same so i'm just going to trim that and i shouldn't waste the way i'm wasting and whatever i do on this side i'm going to do on the other side too next i put glue on all the small pieces and then using my paint pen i mark out where the pieces go and then i attach glue on that part as well i let the glue dry and then once it's ready i start sticking everything together it's gonna go up but it's not going all the way up it's a bit tricky so i need to do two something needs to go up um i can do i can start with this one so basically from here, I just looked at the picture and I tried to build this necklace according to how it was. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm going to just tell you straight up that this took me so long because you have to apply the glue onto the doors and then wait for it to become tacky. So you can't just stick the doors as you go. But while I was waiting, I decided to build other parts that were going onto the necklace as well. There's these four things that are like squares. And so I started building the squares and then once I finished making the squares, the actual squares, I realized they were actually too big. And so I decided to just cut them in half. Instead of doing four more, I just ended up using the two that I had done to actually make four. This goes somewhere there, but then this one is supposed to join there. It goes like that, and then it joins there. And on the picture, it's not joining fully, so it's just joining on the corner. So I might actually just trim the corners, and I'll mark where it's going to join. Just trim the corner and then this corner too. And then here you can see that I ended up reinforcing some of the parts with wire because they had a slight bend to them. And so when I just put it without the wire, it was just loose. And so here's me attaching wire in between. And then when I put the wire, it bends slightly and it actually gives the shape to the necklace. So I just thought I should give you an update of my necklace. So this is what it looks like. This is the side. And then this is the other side it's looking good so all i'm left with and i actually have a dilemma all i'm left with is this part which i can't quite see properly in the photo so the photo is not giving me a 360 view um so i'm just gonna try and do the best i can from what i've seen on the side i've tried to look everywhere but i can't find the 360 view and here it's supposed to be straight like that i might put some wire to just make sure that it's straight but yay it's looking good i can actually I can actually do this so you can see properly. So this is one side of the necklace. <laughs> I don't want to bend it so that it's, yeah. But this is one side of the necklace. What do you guys think so far? 
as I mentioned, I searched and searched everywhere online to try and see whether I can find the back side of the necklace, but all the photos of Queen Ramunda show her facing the front. And so I just had to build this back part according to what I think it looks like. I'm just looking at the side view and I'm going to reinforce the back with a lot of wire because that back part needs to be sturdy. Once again, here's me trying to see whether I can find even a door with a back view of our Queen Mother, but there was nothing, absolutely nothing. So I was building this from my head with no image. I also noticed that Queen Ramonda's necklace has a bit of a curve on the bottom, so I decided to build a curve using the wire method. So once I finish sticking everything together, this is the frame that I have. So this is the shape of my necklace and I'm pretty happy with it. It has a nice bend to it. And now I'm ready to move on to the next part. So using my foam clay, I'm going to make those jewels that are on the front of the necklace. And I need three rectangles and one that looks like a circle. So I'm just going to build it like this. And with this foam clay, it's just like clay. You can just mold it into whatever shape you want. And if you want to smoothen it, you use some water. So that's what you're going to see me doing. Once I have the shapes that I want, I put extra detail using the water, as you can see. So I'm putting some indentations with some water. And then here, I'm just trying to make it into a shape of a jewel. So this is the next day. My foam clay is dry. So I'm going to use these three paints, gold, green, and the translucent color. And I'm going to paint everything, starting with this one doll that's going to go around my jewels. If you watch my videos on a regular, you know how I love painting. It's very therapeutic and I always say this. If you're feeling down, if you're feeling sad, or if you're just not in a good mood, try painting and you'll see how much it changes your mood. So firstly, I'm just going to paint everything that needs to be painted gold. And I always, always, always try and do three coats. Now this gold, it's an FX paint. And let me explain FX as in special FX. So once it dries, it makes the thing look like it's actually made of real gold. So I got a lot of questions about this paint when I made my Black Panther costume, um, the one from the video game. I'll insert the picture here. People were asking me what I used to make the costume and where I found the gold paint. And so this is the paint that I used. It's FX gold and it, it looks real. So I like to wait in between my coats of paint. So here you can see me going through my jewels with the green paint while I wait for the gold to dry. And I just painted it green. And then once the green is on the white form, I can see that this is not the green that I was after. So I decided to take some black paint and try and mix it in. So this is just a satin smooth black paint. And so I decided to mix it with the green and just see whether I can get a deeper color because on the photo, the jewels look darker. And I actually like the color that came out. Look at how lovely that is. And then I went in with my second coat of paint. Usually I leave it for an hour, but this was about maybe 30 minutes in between. And then I went in with my second coat of the gold paint. And then while that was drying, I took my translucent paint and then I went over my jewels with a finer detail. So putting the lines to make it look as realistic as possible.
so this is the next day and this is what my jewels look like look at that what do you guys think this is so good i liked how they turned out so now i'm going to attach that thing that goes around the border and i'm just measuring and cutting for now i'm going to reinforce it with wire before i stick it on i need to make it look like a necklace that is holding itself together with those golden connectors on the right side of my screen and so i'm just going to use wire in between my dolls and then I'm going to put three chains per wire. So it'll make sense once I start sticking everything. So just watch what I'm doing. So let me explain what I'm doing. I took the wire and the doll and I attached them together like this. Then I put two jump rings in the wire like this and then i took my jaw and making sure that i have one jump ring at the end like this i wrap my doll around the jaw i also take a scissors and i snip off where i see that it's too long and i make sure the second jump ring is towards the end of the jaw like this and then i put some glue on the two ends facing each other and leave them to become tacky i need to make sure that i close these ends so that my jump rings don't fall out while i wait for the glue to become tacky i go on and start putting glue on all the other pieces for the other parts now for the jaw that has a circle i'm taking a piece of leather and i'm going to trace around my pattern and once i have the pattern i'll just cut it out sorry i was a bit out of frame and then i'm going to take some glue and put it on the leather part and also on the jaw and then i'll leave them to become tacky while they are tacky i'm gonna stick that first part together and so once i've stuck it this is what it looks like next i'm going to open another set of jump rings and i'm going to attach them into my first set of jump rings so eventually i'm going to put three jump rings on one side so three jump rings on one side and three jump rings on the other side and then when I do my second jewel, I'm going to attach the last two jump rings onto my first one. It will make sense once you watch what I'm doing. Then I'm going to repeat the step that I did with the first jewel on the second and third. And then I'll make sure that I attach my jump rings that are already on my first jewel around this point so i'll just continue and attach everything as i did with the first one So to finish off this necklace, I have to do this last part first. I take two jump rings and then I connect them together. And then I place my leather on top of my last jewel, the circle jewel, and then I press them together. After that, I can now attach the final one. And I'm just going to do the same steps as I did with the first and second one. So just watch how I did it. I actually needed to put the last one first because that last part is going to connect to the last rectangle jewel as I'm showing now. So now the final part is tacky and I'm just going to stick that last part. And I like how it actually turned out. It looks so good. I wasn't expecting it to look this good, especially the green color. Then next after that, I joined that to the rest of my necklace. I put the glue and waited until it was ready. And then once it was ready, I just stuck it onto the rest of the necklace. Hello. So today I'm hopefully going to finish this project off. I am going to finish this off. I have to finish this off today because I want to start on something else. And I was trying to think of a way to put this part onto here 
in a way that I can actually take it off and then put it on because obviously when I wear it I need to be able to somehow put it on or put it together and then take it off and I couldn't find it I thought of using these craft magnets that I have they're the smallest size that I could ever find um, I use magnet a lot in my cosplay but these are actually too one they're too thick and also secondly they're too heavy and this is very light so um, maybe not <laughs> Now my second option, because I've been thinking about this for a whole week, that's how long I haven't touched this project. Um, my second option is to part ways with some inner garments that I'm not using anymore. It's actually one of those nice ones, the ones where you can, um, they, they can turn into a strapless bra on both sides. Yeah. Um, actually, this part can work. But anyway, I'm going to use the hooks. <laughs> I'm going to use the hooks because I've really thought of this. So this part, the hook part, this part which goes click click that part is perfect for what i want and so all i'm going to do is i'm going to take my scissors and i'm going to snip it off and leave a bit of the fabric on it and i'm also going to snip the other part off and also leave a bit of fabric so this is what i have left and so these are the two pieces hopefully i can use to join onto my necklace okay so I've got the hook part, which is this part, and then the loop part, which is that part. And so I'm just going to use my glue and I'm just checking. Yes, so it works on textile. And so all I'm going to do is, oh, if I can open it, I'm going to use this. So I'll spin this upside down. This glue is so weird. As soon as I open it, it starts coming out. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. I don't want too much glue. And then I'm going to put that there. I should have actually taken it off before I did this. Okay, I might leave it. It's been a few minutes and now I'm going to just stick this onto... Oops. And I'm going to press it down. And then now I'm going to stick this part. Yeah, so see how this is now stuck on if i turn it back around it's like that so i'm just going to put this back on um and then i'm going to apply the glue on here so i just need to measure it first before i actually stick it on so i want it to be from there to there so okay get some glue and put some right there down to there okay and then i'll do the same so the glue on this one it goes on this part i'm back and i think my glue is tacky i'm just going to turn it around because i want to see the position where i'm going to stick this i want to try and hide as much of the black thing as possible and i'm going to stick it over there like that So anyway, this is what our necklace look like. This is what our necklace looks like. I really like how the jewels came out. Can you see? Maybe let me remove this so you can get a better view. See, it makes it so much better. So this is our necklace, and I like this. I like the color of the jewels. It's fine. Anyway, <laughs> so this is what our necklace looks like. Look at that. Look at that, guys. It is perfect. I like it. I've got a feeling that this part is too big. I think her actual necklace is up to there. But this is the smallest size that I could find. So I didn't actually make this top. This is a boob tube that I have. And I've just stuck these two. And then this thing. I just want to see what it looks like. It's quite hard for me to see what her whole look looks like. Because I can't see the whole image. I can only see half of the top. And it's very hard to see what, it, what the actual dress looks like. But I've, I've, in my mind, I think it's a boob tube dress. With these things sticking out. And then... The necklace goes under this somehow I, I made it pointy i'd made it pointy and then i just thought it's not really necessary because the necklace is going to hide it so i did I, I folded the pointy bit um and i was pretty happy with this so yeah i don't really wear this book tube anymore um i've outgrown it but it still fits it's actually an extra small and i was surprised that it actually fits me it's one of those stretchy fabrics okay so that's our that's our necklace done. 
I'm just going to brush it with the paint and then I'll be done with it. I'm going to just cover my this part with the paint as well. This paint works well on fabric. So I don't know about the metal. But maybe I should put this. I don't want to get paint on my table. I'm in my kitchen, by the way. for me to see what I'm doing. I've got one hook and I've got the other hook. So this is what we look like. My necklace is actually too big. It's better for it to be too big than to be too small. And so with this necklace, I probably need to pull my top down a bit so that it can sh I can show the accents every part of it. But other than that, I am pretty happy with this. I tell you today, I was reading about the designer of this costume and oh my gosh, the things that people think of, the things that people come up with, it is amazing. So what do you guys think? This is the full, I've got two cameras. So this is kind of showing the full look, but I'm going to take some photos now. Let me try and do it this way. I can't, I can't get with this kind of, lens i can't get the full look but i like the way the necklace is sitting i thought it would be quite stiff onto my shoulders but it's actually perfect i love the way it's laying on my neck i just need to trim off that much see how much of i was i've wasted so much <laughs> but yay it's perfect i love it i love it um how would you rate this out of 10 can you give me a rating so now i'm just gonna go and take some photos and